Okay. I think I can just get started. Oh, I can do this, and then this, <laughs> and then this. We are in old, uh, ready to go to this banquet. Let's talk to everybody first. If I did not know better, I should think our bard had run afoul of another jilted lover. Is that... no, just my imagination. Oh, pay no attention to me. Tis a habit from my misspent youth, looking over my shoulder from time to time. Ooh, he's got the... he's got the feeling, the heebie-jeebies. Alright, Ida, what, what brilliant thing do you have to say? It's a banquet, so there'll definitely be food, but will there also be dancing? And if there is, will it be before or after the food? Dancing on a full stomach is no fun, but neither is being hungry. Hmm, what to do? <laughs> I do hope Ida is not under the impression that we are here to make merry. We are ostensibly the antecedent's escort, after all. We have been waiting for you. The celebration is due to begin shortly. I had hoped that we might make our introductions together, but Mistress Mamodi just sent word that you were needed at the quicksand. Oh, detour. Let me turn things down slightly here. We will go on ahead. Pray join us once matters at the quicksand are resolved. Yeah, just take a minute. Give my regards to Mamodi and let her know that I will call upon her anon. Whee! Uh, let's get a minion out. I haven't had a minion out in a while. Got this Midgard Stormer. Yeah, let's do it. Little dragon. I appreciate you dropping in on such short notice. I know you've got places to be, so I won't waste your time. You're friends with a crystal brave by the name of Alianne, aren't you? Former adventurer? Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure you recruited her yourself. Well, anyway, she came around for a meal not long ago, and before she left, she asked me to give you a message. Said if the others ended up dragging you to the feast, I was to see you got it before you made your grand entrance. Meet me at the station west of the Coffer and Coffin. There's something I must show you. A short message, I'll grant you. But she thought and long and hard before picking those words. Barely touched her food, too. Under other circumstances, I'd have thought those signs of a troubled heart. But something tells me she ain't planning to confess her undying love. Ooh, what's this? Secret meetings? As you stand upon the platform, your thoughts begin to wander, and all too soon the ghosts of comrades lost and enemies slain begin to file by your mind's eye in solemn procession. Clearing your head, you scan the horizon, but see no sign of Alien. Yeah, but there's like a thing here. Yeah, it's like right there. 
Straining your ears to listen, you hear the chatter of Keekern and the buzzing of Syrphids, but no approaching footfall. Sighing, you bow your head, only to notice the vial lying at your feet. Mm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ephelan, is that you? What brings you out this way? Lieutenant Allianne? Why no, I haven't seen her about. Had she come this way, I guarantee you we would have crossed paths. I must have passed this spot a dozen times. We are to patrol the city's environs on account of the royal banquet. Captain's orders, you understand. Speaking of which, isn't it about to begin? You should be with the other honored guests, enjoying your well-deserved respite. Aye, pray return to Old Da. If I chance to meet the lieutenant, I will tell you her you are here. of all has all but disappeared beneath the sands. For want of the strength to raise it up again, it were better that it fall. Forgive me, but I know not what else to do. I reckoned you'd head straight to the feast after meeting with Allianne. What's the matter? No appetite? So she wasn't there, but this was, eh? Let's see. Hmm, looks to me like an alchemist vial, but beyond that, I can't say. Might be best if you hold on to it for safekeeping, though. Any road, no use worrying about Allianne. I'm sure she'll turn up before too long, and when she does, we'll soon find out what this was all in aid of. Besides, you've got more important things to think about. Would you believe that while you were away, another message arrived for you? Well, one did. One delivered by the Sultana's handmaiden, no less. Seems her grace desires a private audience. Her handmaiden will meet you on the royal promenade and escort you to the Sultana's chambers. So what are you waiting for? Go on then, go. Trouble yourself, so. Your grace is most kind, but it is no trouble to me, rather an honor. If your grace is ready, I shall summon the warrior of light. I am.
Everyone looks to be in high spirits. With good cause. A common victory may serve to unite even the most unlikely of allies. You've brought us one step closer to a united Eorzea. Your modesty knows no bounds, Antecedent. Were it not for your efforts, Sir Emmerich would never have become such a steadfast ally. When he convinces his countrymen to rejoin the Alliance, we shall all reap the benefits, military and economic. I tell you, we are on the cusp of a new era of unity and prosperity. Territorial disputes are all that divide us now. But I have faith that we will find an amicable solution in time. And failing that, I'll have my trusty warrior of light box the ears of all concerned. Speaking of whom... He will be joining us shortly. A matter at the quicksand required his attention, but it did not sound serious. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming, sir. Her grace is most eager to speak with you. If you require a moment to compose yourself before your audience, you may have it. Or if you are ready, it would be my honor to escort you to her cham her grace's chambers forthwith. Alright, bunch of... On proceeding to the Sultana's bedchamber, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Let's go. Let's do it. Enter. Your Grace, your guest has arrived. Pray come in and take your ease. Is well that the steps of faith held against the horde. And what of the city proper? We sustained some few losses, but the heart of our nation yet beats with vigor. I am not certain I could say the same had we not received your most generous aid. An attack on Ishgard is an attack on the realm. We stand together or fall divided. Such noble words, after the fact. I had hoped to speak in the presence of Her Grace, but it seems she has been delayed. That being the case, now would seem as good a time as any. 
Honored friends, pray allow me to convey Ishgard's warmest gratitude for your part in the defense of our lands. It is upon the success of this very alliance that my recommendation to throw open the gates of judgment shall be founded. With the blessing of the Archbishop, it is my hope that Ishgard will soon be reunited with her long-estranged sister nations, and that Eorzea shall once more be as one. Very well. Is all to miss? Nothing to worry about. I shall return anon. You wished a word, Yu Yu Hase? You may go. Your Grace. You must be curious as to the reason for this private audience. The matter I would discuss, however, will soon make apparent the need for discretion. I intend to abdicate the throne and dissolve the monarchy. You have seen for yourself the storm of turmoil that howls through our streets. The government fails in its responsibilities, and my subjects suffer the consequences of our incompetence. But I will see them suffer no longer. The Victory Feast shall provide the stage on which I declare the dissolution of the Sultanate. It is mine intent that the ruling class of our golden city should take its place beside the common man in a fair and equitable republic. No more shall this nation bow to the whims of a privileged few. Yet, that which I propose will entail the tearing up of this city's very foundations. And even Roban, with all his strength and influence, will be hard-pressed to keep his footing on such treacherous ground. Thus would I ask you to lend him a steadying hand. You who have endured the wrath of innumerable foes are the one hero in whom I can place my trust. Will you do this thing for me? I am truly grateful. More grateful than I can well express. How much we have both changed since that day we met beneath the Sultan Tree. And the days ahead promise to change us further still. I hope that we will recognize ourselves when all of this is over.
face. Her grace, the Sultana, is dead. Poison in her wine? You! You did this! Spare us your denials! I see no other suspects, and the room has but the one entrance. I hereby accuse you of regicide! Men, arrest this viper! Sir, barring a few exceptions, we have detained all those with allegiance to the Scions. The Rising Stones is also under our control. And what do you hope to achieve with this mutiny? Why, that which we have striven for all along, Commander. The salvation of Eorzea. What is the meaning of this? Knights from the homeland. This cannot bode well. Lord Commander, we have received an urgent message from the Holy See. I am grieved to report that your serpentine foes have resumed their assault. Needless to say, your presence is urgently required. These knights have come to bear you swiftly home to Ishgard. A surprise attack. We've had no such word from our men, and the timing is most fortuitous to catch us away from the city. Most fortuitous indeed. Lord Commander, we must away! You have been a most gracious host. I hope that I might one day return the favor. Come, Lucia. Whatever is going on in there? Ah, the ever dutiful brass blades. I must apologize, but my dance card is rather full. Another time, perhaps? Thancred of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You stand accused of committing acts of espionage in service to the Galian Empire. Espionage? What in the seven hells are you talking about? 
Ah, if you're referring to that business with the Ultima weapon, then you must understand. I, I wasn't myself. Under interrogation, an Imperial prisoner revealed your involvement in numerous dealings with the enemy. We've also been investigating reports that you are a practitioner of forbidden arts. You best come along with us. You invite me to your party and now you want me to leave? I do so detest receiving mixed signals. Come then. I believe I've lost my appetite for this farce of a celebration. You go too far, Lord Adelegi. By what right do you march armed soldiers into a royal banquet and eject state visitors without her grace's consent? You treat the brass blades as your personal army and show contempt for the throne with your every act. Leave us. Now. Is that an order, General? Mayhap you have mistaken me for one of your flames. You will find I am not so slavishly obedient. <laughs> and you lecture me on personal armies. As for your outrageous claim that I have shown contempt for the throne, let all here observe that it was not I who feasted while an assassin removed its occupant. I expect this is your idea of defending the nation, is it? This and diluting our forces through these distractions in Cartano and Curthus. I do begin to see how the ranks of the immortal flames came to be riddled with Garlean sympathizers. You are plainly unfit for command. Wait. Wait, gods damn you. Your words make no sense. What assassin? You mean to say you don't know? We caught the vaunted champion of the Scions in Her Grace's private chambers, not moments after the deed was done. No! No, this cannot be! Save your breath! You will need it to plead your case. You and your entire order are to be tried for this atrocity. in the prisoner. This man stands accused of poisoning Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ulnamo and his suspected accessories to the crime all members of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn will be detained for questioning. This is madness! What a pity. Who'd have thought your tale would end like this? Should you demand further proof, a vial with traces of the substance used to poison her grace was found upon the assassin's person. How very convenient. You would speak of convenience? Who persuaded Her Grace to host this celebration? A diversion which presented you and your confederates ample opportunity to commit the crime and a crowd within which to fade from view. A more convenient occasion I could scarcely imagine. How dare you, after all we have done for Uldar! Hold your tongue, witch! I'll not be ensorcelled! 
I know all about the dark gift that you and your disciples wield. Oh, yes. I've observed how you worked upon the minds of the Alliance leaders, bending them to your will. And what of your cordial relationship with Sir Emmerich? For years, Ishgard abjured all contact with the outside world, and now the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights treats you with the familiarity of a childhood friend. I'll tell you what I think. I think this desperate defense of Ishgard was but a ruse to deceive us into dividing our forces. Your next move will be to charm your Curthen allies into invading our lands. Now that is truly ridiculous. How do you even think of this stuff? She... she cannot be dead. Stand aside, Ilbert. I want to see the Sultana. Spare yourself the pain, brother. I saw her with my own eyes. For a mercy, the poison took her swiftly. Her handmaiden can attest to that. This cannot be. Nanamo. Nanamo. No! Plainly, the Royalists can no longer be relied upon to keep our nation safe. And so it falls to the monetarists of the Syndicate to govern Uldar. But should you wish to help us, General, we would be more than happy to entrust the task of planning Her Grace's funeral to you. It seems only right that you should bury your precious Sultana, and we will be glad to be rid of that burden. I'll bet you will. You more than any man. Whatever do you mean? I mean you had her killed, you black-hearted bastard! <laughs> what rot! <laughs> Though I did have sufficient motive, it is true. That young lady caused me no end of grief. She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. You would mock her, then mock her from hell! What? Have you lost your mind, General? It is forbidden to draw steel in the royal chambers, much less slaughter our fellow Syndicate members. <gasps> You're one of them! You've been in league with the Scions all along! You! You're next to scheming bastard! Admiral, we must leave. Ah! Ah! 
How unlike you, old friend. I did not expect to take your arm so easily. Take the Scions into custody. They have conspired to commit regicide. And arrest this traitor as well. Gilbert, I hope you choke on their coin. Tis better than the dirt I've supped on these long years. We can't all abandon Alamigo and become great war heroes as you have. You are not the man you once were, Rabban. Since that girl strapped the yoke around your neck, You've become docile. She took the mad bull and cut off his balls. And a bull that cannot rot is fit for naught but slaughter. Shall I tell you who really killed your precious Sultana? It was me. You... You die! Doubted you, not for a moment. But there is more to this than I yet understand. Flee this place. Clear your names. Find out who is behind this plot. It is the only way. Now go! Ah, there you are. Sancred, where have you been? Avoiding the fumbling advances of some very persistent admirers. When I realized the celebrations had turned sour, it seemed prudent to slip away and take stock of the situation. It would appear that much of the city is already under tight guard. It occurs to me that expanding the Brass Blade's authority may not have been such a wonderful idea after all. The success of this plan was contingent upon those thugs having the run of the place. Just how long has this scheme been in motion? The careful preparations, the maneuvering of forces. I am inclined to agree with the General's insistence that a deeper plot exists here. So, would I be right in thinking we now have an excuse to pummel as many brass blades as we like? Unless you plan on pummeling them all, I'm not sure that will greatly aid our cause. The Sultana's assassination was but one part of the scheme. We two were its targets. 
And though we did not share Pornonimo's fate, we are yet hobbled by the charges laid at our door. Where now might we seek refuge? Where indeed, we may safely assume that our foe has thought to have the Rising Stones watched. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but our choice of destination will matter little if we cannot secure an escape route out of Ulda. Happily, I believe I can provide one. Papashan once told me about the passages hidden in the walls of the palace. If I recall correctly, the fireplace in Anima's chambers conceals the entrance to a tunnel. It should lead outside the city and allow us to avoid any messy confrontations. The rest of you, go on ahead. I'll handle this lot. By yourself? Huh, I suppose I shall just have to join you. Crystal Braves too, huh? Now this should be interesting. Ida! Papa Limo! We will hold our pursuers here. Hurry, now. Find this tunnel of Thancreds. Minfilia, we cannot linger. Now look what you've done! Ida, are you all right? There are just too many of them! I'm fine. I could do this all day. How about you? Nearing the end of my tether. between this realm and the evil that's trying to destroy it. And if you think we'll leave the stewardship of Eorzea to the likes of your masters, then you're solely mistaken. Sorry I dragged you into this, Popolimo. <laughs> Tis hardly the first time, and I'll be damned if it will be the last. I 
was hoping you'd say that. I never knew such a watercourse existed beneath Uldar. The architecture is of the Sildene style, if I'm not mistaken. The ancients plainly foresaw the need for a ready means of escape. It didn't take long. It seems these tunnels were not as secret as I had hoped. You two, go on ahead. Thancred and I will deal with this. What? What do you mean to do? Only that which is required to ensure that the dawn's light survive to brighten the morrow. Fear not, Antecedent. You haven't seen the last of these fair features. My friends... Leave us! What is the plan, milady? Shall I take the dozen on the left and you the dozen on the right? The odds are not exactly stacked in our favor. Numbers will count for little when I bring the tunnel down upon their heads. Though I cannot say I relish the thought of being in tune with you for all eternity. You wound me. I will have you know that many a maid would kill for the chance to spend forever at my side. Now, may I have the last dance? Going splendidly. Now would be a good time, milady. Tis done. Forgive me, Mitra. Farewell, Minfunia. Hydaelyn? She... she speaks to me. No! I must remain behind, but you cannot stay with me.
Please, you must go on. You are the warrior of light. You are hope for the Scions and for all the realm. As long as your flame continues to burn, the light of the dawn may ever be relit. You must escape and save Eorzea from those who would plunge it into darkness. Tis the only way. I am glad to see you safe, my friend. What of the others? Damn that man! Taleji played me for a fool! I thought the Crystal Brave's mine till the very moment I felt the blade at my back. There will be ample time for soul searching later. For now, we must put some moms between us and Ulda. Well, would you look who it is? Need a ride? I doubt it'll be half as exciting as the last trip we took. Not if I have anything to say about it anyway. Let's not dawdle, eh? All aboard! I was stocking up on supplies over in Vesper Bay, you see, when your sister come up and begged a favour. Said her brother was having some trouble down in Uldar, and likely needed a helping hand getting away. But thinking them ruins would make a fine hiding place, I decided to try there first. And lo and behold, there you were! Aye, and judging by them soldiers as were pouring out of the city, I arrived not a moment too soon. Ha! <laughs> Must have been fate that we happened to find you there, though, eh? I had thought to look out for Alize, but what appears she was the one watching over me. I've made such a mess of things. You be, young sir.
Pippin Taropin, Vice Marshal of the Immortal Flames. I had been on the Alamegan front these past few moons, but an urgent communication called me back to Uldar. Scarce had my boots touched the cobbles, though, when the streets erupted with cries of assassination. I immediately went in search of answers, and came across Master Alfino here. Needless to say, I did not think his imprisonment justified. The blame plainly lies with the Monetarists. Their greed and corruption are well known to me, but for them to take advantage of the situation with such alacrity... Was that Pippin, you said? Ain't that the name of General Alden's lad? Yes, I am his son. Adopted, of course. It was only as we were leaving Uldar that I learned of father's fate. Once I have seen you a safe distance away, I mean to return to the city and extricate him from this madness. Then you needn't travel no further than Blackbrush. Our fugitives have a friend waiting for them there. I dreamed of bringing about Eorzea's salvation, but in the end... Was I who needed saving? Whoops. Yeah, let's see. Them soldiers will keep searching for a while yet. Reckon we'll take a carriage back towards Old Da and get the lay of the land. Maybe provide a distraction if need be. Whatever. Alright, let's go. The most unassuming foe can prove to be our greatest allies. That fellow was but a passing merchant, yet he lent us aid without a moment's hesitation or any hint of concern for his own safety. Though I can well imagine how a man could feel inspired to risk all in your presence. Father spoke often of you, and long have I looked forward to our first meeting. Needless to say, this is not at all how I envisioned it. Master Alphano, you must not give in to despair. That would only play into our enemy's hands. So long as you and Fafalan are free, we may still... We may still set things right. Forgive me, Marshal Tarapin, but I... Alphano, my boy, sorry to keep you waiting. Aw, oh, yeah. Sid, what are you doing here? Pulling you out of the fire as usual. Your merchant friend told me everything. Truly, then he is no merchant but an angel in peddler's clothing. But tell us, how do you intend to bear our friends to safety? I hid the Enterprise but a short distance away. All I need is a destination. We must find a place beyond the reach of both the Monitorists and the Crystal Braves. Earthus. Fishguard will not suffer the intrusion of foreign forces in their territory. That settles it. With me, everyone. Not I, I fear. I must remain here. I dare not abandon Old Da to the Monitorists and their cronies. You may be certain that they will seek to defame you, both here and in the other city-states. I know that I shall do my utmost to thwart their every effort. Frankly, I do not expect it to be much of a challenge. The small folk will not turn so easily on the Warrior of Light and his allies, no matter what the Monitorists claim. Marshal Tarapin, I... I know not what to say. Ah. 
now that that father now that, oh now that father would labor to believe okay it's the emphasis on that kind of threw me the, anyway but enough talk you must go master alphano your airship awaits Up, oh, up, oh, there's no rest for the righteous. We should make for Camp Dragonhead and speak with Lord Orshafant. Mayhap, mayhap he will know what to do. Master Alphano told me your tale. It warms my heart that you should turn to me before all others, and I shall endeavor to deserve your trust. Alas, the situation here has grown more complicated in your absence. It would be best if I explained in full. There has been word from the capital. Ishgard has weathered another assault. And tis said several wyverns broke through into the city proper. The Temple Knights succeeded in slaying the beasts, but the intrusion prompted orders to further strengthen the guard and to place the city under a perpetual state of alert. How keenly we feel the loss of our wards at the gates of judgment. Yet we must not bemoan our misfortune. Sir Emmerich is safely returned from Uldar, and once more leads the defense of Ishgard. As for the matter of your asylum, I am afraid no progress will be made until the threat to our nation is diminished. But do not despair. You are not without allies. You are more than welcome to shelter here for as long as you wish. Pray. Think of it as a new headquarters of sorts, the falling snows or some such. All frivolity aside, any who come here in search of you will receive no aid from House Fortan. For once, the Ishgardian reputation for inhospitality shall work in our favor. Agents of Uldar will find their every inquiry dismissed and their every request for entry rebuffed until such time as their masters have acknowledged your innocence. You once fought to preserve the honor of my dear friend. Tis a blessing that I may now repay that debt in kind. But let us dwell no more on this. Pray, join the rest of your companions. 
Tis bitterly cold this day. I suspect there are those who might welcome the warmth your presence brings. Okay. I'm going to kind of break it up a little bit here by going to Limsa and getting some warm clothes. I also just kind of want to change it up a bit in general. I don't want to keep the same outfit for like too long, you know. All right. So... This is diable too, right? Yeah, of course. be nice. Oh my god, a Skeletor in chat? What's up, man? I, uh, probably clickbaited you with the regicide title, huh? <laughs> I'm thinking... Either this or the other one. Not gonna be a lot of... Like, I could go, like, full tryhard and do this. But I think I'm gonna... I wanna get this, but later. Like, later into Heaven's Ward, I mean. I've been lurking for a while, just was like, Murr, outfit selector, yeah. yeah. There's some pretty cool, uh... Because basically the way it works is, um... So this isn't what my actual gear looks like. This is glamoured. So let me give these plates where you can like set up gear set so I could switch to this at any time. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and get... Which one was it again? I think it was this Raimi coat, right? Of course. Need a cool hat. So here, hold up. Ass glamour. I also have this stuff too, but probably won't use this. Robo Divine Death is like the same as the other one, it's just it's not diable. This is pretty nice, uh, just kind of general. But let's go ahead and. Oh, that's right, because it's a higher level, I can't... Hmm... I mean, that's fine. It should technically be better, right? Item comparison. Um... I mean, realistically, I want more spell speed, but this is fine. I can just equip this straight up. Get a different hat. Oh yeah. Might have to do that. It's pretty good. Or that, maybe. Thank you. 
The Yeti staff. The Yeti. <laughs> um, I could still get this though because I can probably just make it on my main for like very cheap. So I'll probably still get that, but I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> That's a fucking that is a scam. Ooh, this is nice looking though. Yeah, here we go. See, do we have any like cool titles? Mm. Nah, I mean, kind of, but not really. We can go back. <laughs> New outfit hype. Oh, 
That's right. Greetings, sir. Shall I show you inside? Oh, several cutscenes. Let's go. Alphano, Fafalan, is it really you? Uh, I'm so happy that you are not dead? Yeah, same. I tried contacting Minfilia and the others, but no one would respond. And then Crystal Braves, our own people, turned on us in the marketplace. Flamin told me to run, and so I did. I ran and I ran until my lungs burned and my feet ached, but I lost my way, and then... Fortunately, I had observed some of the Braves behaving suspiciously beforehand. Ah, uh, yeah. Face reveal. Hmm, ah uh, yes, my mask. It was lost in the struggle. Pretty, isn't she? Anyway, after Yugiri found me, we traveled to Vesper Bay and met up with Uriange. When we told him what had happened, he used his magics to weave a glamour around the waking sands. From the outside, our old headquarters now looks like an abandoned storehouse. The transformation didn't take long either. Apparently, Uriange started making preparations after the Imperial attack, just in case the Empire ever chose to pay us another visit. Good thinking, eh? Sorry, where was I? Oh yes, so we waited there at the Waking Sands, hoping others would come, but no one else did. My people are searching for the other Scions, even as we speak, but we have met with no success yet. I'd hoped that you might be able to suggest further places to look, uh, but you should know. The Rising Stones do not share the Waking Sands' good for fortune. Only Crystal Braves await you there. Be that as it may, we have yet we yet have cause for to hope, do we not? If the two of you escaped, it is not impossible th that the others could have done so as well. You may have been forsaken by men and women believe true, but rest assured that the people of Doma yet stand with you. We welcome this opportunity to repay our debts and shall continue our efforts to locate the others and see the Scions restored to their rightful place of honor. Tis all my doing. I believed myself the only one who truly understood Eorzea's woes. And look what that arrogance has wrought. I gave commands, influenced governments with my certainty. I treated the Crystal Braves and even the Scions themselves as pawns in my great scheme to save the realm. But in my headlong rush into imagined glory, I paid no heed to the ground upon which I trod. The salvation of Eorzea. What was it that I hoped to achieve? Did I believe that I could rid the realm of every danger and difficulty? That I could defeat the Empire and the Asians, And find homes for every refugee? Oh yes. I was so very clever. Become a guardian of Eorzea, I implored, and sat back to watch my perfect army cleanse the land of chaos. It was all but a means to feed my own vanity. Only when all is lost do I finally realize the truth. Oh, Alfino. So, Master Alfino, are you content to remain a broken blade? Is there no flame hot enough to reforge you? What of the fine companions who yet stand at your side? 
I dare say the fires of their determination will soon have you slicing the air again with your customary wit. I hardly deserve such friendship. Besides, where are we to go? Alphano, if I may? Should this place not serve our purpose, then... then we shall go to Ishgard. Minfilia told me many times, as long as we stand fast against despair, the beacon of hope will never be lost to sight. Be it in the snow or in the clouds, we few will see that the dawn's light shines again. <laughs> You are right, Totoru. Thank you. And thank you for your kind words, Lord Orchefon. Tis true that Eorzea yet has her guardians. The Scions have achieved much, and would be remiss of me to discard it all in a fit of self-pity. Let us then resume our journey, together. One step at a time. Shining is the land's light of justice. Ever flows the land's well of purpose. Walk free, walk free, walk free. Believe the land's alive. So be.
dat Amano art, though.
Oh yeah. All has been arranged as you desired, my lord. Nabriella's is no more. It's kind of a little bitch. The Ardor was not his to invoke. His demise was of his own making. Nevertheless, it concerns me. They have extinguished that which should rightly be eternal. Mayhap he was not wholly mistaken. Greater haste may be warranted. We are of one mind. The Northern Lands, then. The earth is fertile, and the seeds well sown. By my will they shall reap salvation unlike any the world has known. By his will. By his will. What the fuck? Ariange. I've answered the, thy summons, emissary. Speak and make thine intent known. I would speak of fate, Archon. Yours, mine, the fate of this very star. Sanctuary lieth beyond. Delusion, despair, death. Thou shalt find naught else here. Okay. 
Well, that is officially the end of A Realm Reborn. So I think we're pretty much going to be ending the stream soon, but I think... And now let me see if my friend Naps is available. I did say that we could do a couple dungeons and let them do some more Dark Knight practice. So we may get a dungeon or two, otherwise the, the stream is going to end either way. But it uh, might end a little bit later if we're going to be doing... Okay, looks like we might be doing stuff. We can do a level in here. Oh, hey, Amber. Just in time to see us do our leveling. I don't know if you're playing. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to do this leveling and then I'm probably going to end the stream. Uh, we literally just finished A Realm Reborn. Don't watch this dark night. <laughs> I've been on the wizard grind. Ah, okay. I, I should have assumed. portrait. <laughs> How did it get, I get reverted? like the staff and yeah, just a uh...
I kind of hate this dungeon. It's okay. Uh, I like. I, I don't really like or dislike it. I think it's fine. But I can see why you uh, would dislike it. I weirdly used to love this dungeon when I was just a wee lad actually leveling in this game because I thought it was the first dungeon that actually had mechs to it. Now I'm just sad when I get it. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of sucks, like, when you get to the point where, like, stuff is just kind of routine. And you're just, like, so used to everything.
don't know. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, the music. Yeah, the final boss music. Oh, nice. Okay. No! That is going to be the end of the stream. Um, tomorrow we'll get in, uh, like, into Heaven's Word proper. Does the person miss out on loot? Uh, whatever, since they died? No. In fact, um, dying in dungeons and stuff really isn't that big of a deal. Um, all healers and even some, like, caster classes can uh, revive people in the middle of combat. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so, um, I, I think the reason why, why Skeletor is asking that is because, uh, in RuneScape, for example, uh, when you, when you die in, like, raids and stuff, you actually lose points and you have a lower chance at loot. And also, the way loot works is, uh, a bit different. But yeah, uh, thanks to Naps for running that dungeon with me. Um, like I was saying, we'll get started with Heaven's Ward tomorrow. T tonight was a little bit shorter stream, and I also started a bit later. But tomorrow uh, we'll get into Heaven's Ward, and then I, I kind of want to... I've, I've kind of been um, thinking of a good way to integrate the Coils raids. But what I kind of want to maybe do is have like pre-recordings of me just like doing this uh, story part of the game on New Game Plus on my main character and then just having all the footage and like maybe doing like a just like a watch party or something. But I, I have like a, a framing device in mind for how I want to actually present it in the story. Which will possibly potentially tie into Heaven's Ward. What happens with uh, that normal raid? So it'll be a little bit of a kind of like personal character RP kind of stuff, just to justify me uh, doing this after I've finished a Realm Reborn. But yeah, thanks to everybody for hanging out. Tomorrow, I should be also starting uh, on time as well. <laughs> I don't really have anything uh, to, to prevent me from going live. We'll see, though. Hey, I'm a just island boy. I'm a yeah. island boy. I'm a get key white going. You're gonna keep that gun. I'll be just staring at the sign. Um, also, uh, another thing, since you use that point redemption, it reminds me, um, when I'm, when I'm not doing, uh, like face cam like I was tonight, I have this, uh, chat cover right here. Let me go back to it. This little image. Um, there's actually a point redemption for 1500 points where you can choose a uh, an image that you want to replace it with. So the way it'll work is 
you just redeem it and you can input text when you redeem it and just like put like an imgur link or something just something i can uh, go to and download the image and i will use it as the chat cover instead so you have some funny meme image obviously you know nothing too crazy uh don't don't do anything like against tos <laughs> of course but uh, I, I thought that might be a funny thing to uh, include to make up for uh, the nights where I just don't feel like having a webcam. Sometimes I don't want to have uh, bright lights right in my eyeballs all night long. Or if I'm just looking particularly uh, AGDQ TOS2, not just Twitch. Heck yeah. Uh, all right. But thanks everybody again. Tomorrow, like, like I said, we'll have Heaven's Ward, and then next Thursday we will have more stories. Um, I'm currently thinking of, because I don't think stories is going to last like too many streams. I can get through a lot of cycles on that game um, every time I stream. So I'm going to have to think of a new series for my Thursday long plays. Hand cam, please. Yeah. No. We're not doing it. <laughs> um, but uh, something else I've been considering while I have everybody's attention is a uh, non-recorded just uh, craft streams like during the week. Uh, these won't get uploaded to YouTube or anything, but um, I, I, I have some uh, some model kits I still need to work on. And I'm getting pretty close to finishing one now, so... I'm thinking maybe I'm going to just do like a chill hobby stream where I put the do the finishing touches on that and put it together. And like, I don't know, we can just listen to live music and I can take requests and I can set it up in a way so it doesn't um, show uh, show up in the VOD. So I don't get like copyright strikes on Twitch for playing uh, so we can listen to like whatever music. Yeah, that's uh, something I'll probably announce that on my Discord. Uh, I'll talk about it more in depth. But rock. Yeah, I mean, unless it's like a really completely unlistenable thing, like just like super loud, like meme song or something, I'll listen to just about anything. But yeah, things to consider. For now, though, I will catch you all later.